Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your Apollo D8 diagnostic tool. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. This module covers the use of scanner data in Parameter ID View, also known as PID View. The scanner data display shows the current data parameter information from the vehicle's control module. To access the data, select Data Display from the main menu. Depending on the vehicle, this may open a sub-menu of viewing options. Remember, you can scroll down using the touch screen or keypad for additional selections. For this example, we will choose to view Engine Data from the sub-menu. A list of engine data parameters shown along with a brief description of each parameter. The data appears in a digital text format on the right called PID View. The data values refresh as the vehicle sends new data. The speed may vary depending on the speed of data sent from the vehicle and the number of data parameters shown. Scroll down to see all available data parameters. The data is continuously recorded for all available data parameters. After recording 4,000 frames, new data is recorded, overwriting the oldest frames of data. The pause button freezes the data display for closer examination and review. When the data is paused, other controls appear. The double arrows move forward and back 580 frames at a time. The single arrows move forward and back one data frame at a time. Move the position indicator to navigate to any part of the recorded data. Use the record icon to restart data recording at any time. When recorded vehicle conditions change and you want to record and view new frames of data, you can tap the X icon to clear the data buffer and start over. The Save icon allows you to save the recording for later review. The Settings icon brings you to the Settings menu. Selecting the Back icon returns you to the Scanner Data screen. The Custom Data List function gives you even more power to customize the view. Selecting the Custom Data List checkmark opens a menu for selecting parameters to display. Checkmarks to the left of the parameter description indicate which parameters you've selected for display. Here we see the Select, Deselect All icon. Tap to select or deselect all the parameters. Touch a parameter to add it to the custom data list. Touch it again to delete the checkmark and delete the parameter from the list. When you have created your own custom data list, Use the back arrow to return to the data display and view the list. Custom data lists can significantly accelerate the speed of the data display by processing only the vehicle data that you need so that you can find tough intermittent failures faster. To select all PIDs, press the custom data list icon and press the select all deselect all icon. Press the back icon to return to the PID list screen. The sort function is another handy way to find and view the parameters you need. Select the sort icon to sort the list by the factory default sort order, or from A to Z, or from Z to A. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series.